Hey you dude, it's Thub and welcome back to another episode and today I'm kind of excited, can you guess why? Usually I get excited because we're going to make a bunch of money or meet someone new or go do something fun or get rid of a whole bunch of trash. If you read titles of videos before watching them you probably already know, today is the day we're going to get rid of all of this media, hopefully. Most of this was free, some of the books I probably should take the time to read first, and everything in here I would make a lot more money selling it individually on Amazon slash eBay. But, that's not what this is about. This is about efficient use of your time. And if I can get rid of as much of this as possible, for like, pennies on the dollar, but I can come home with a fistful of dollars, well that's just great for me. This one's kinda neat though, look. People were asking about this one in particular, this little leather thing, it's um... The Adventures of Sherlock Holmes collected into, it's kind of like an omnibus. I don't think it was a very long series, so that's probably why. <sighs> I've got an idea for a fun game. Make a guess as to how much you think I'll be able to get out of this stack. We're talking about 200 CDs, about 20 DVDs, and um, probably a hundred books in all sorts of different genres. Make a guess as to how much you think I'll be able to get at the end of the day. Write that in the comments below before we get there and then we'll see who was closest. Um, shit, should we? I can't do it. There's no way to, to regulate this and make sure you actually followed the rules. So there isn't going to be a prize. This one's just for fun. Um, I'm going to make a guess and put that right at the end. Here we go. <clears throat> All right, I made a quick guess. I'll put the uh, footage at the end of the video so we can all play along. And, um, well, how much money can you get for directly selling various media for cash to brick and mortar stores in Calgary? Let's find out, let's go. Wow, I'm looking really marshmallowy today. It's kind of chilly out there. Okay, so for my first stop, we're gonna do the books because they're the biggest and heaviest and maybe the, the least valuable, but we're gonna find out. We're heading to a shop called Fair's Fair which has a dominant grip over the second-hand book market in Calgary with uh, four or five locations all over the city. They've definitely got the best distribution market and they keep everything on file searchable from any other location, so anybody who goes to one location can look for a specific title. They've got the whole thing covered. Rumor has it Fair's Fair is a bit of a rip-off, so if you're trying to make the most money or have a uh, more eclectic selection to trade into, you'll definitely be better off with an individual location mom and pop situation. But you really can't argue with the inventory or the distribution of Fair's Fair, so that's where we're gonna check out. I'd like to point out that this is an experiment. This is the first kick at the can for me, so you guys are learning just like I am right now. Let's see how they feel about buying a stack of books. I could spend all day right here. And these or what's sold. All right, now I'll reveal no secrets about how much was earned until the end of the video, but now we're heading to Recordland, right down the street, about two blocks to see what they say about a bucket of CDs. Guess what? Never mind. They're closed. I mean, because it's Monday, right? Obviously. What do we do now? Well, I got an idea. Okay, so we headed over to what used to be Cash Converters, but is now called Buy Sell or something like that. It's pretty far down south. To unload the DVDs, and the guy picked out five of them that he would buy for a buck a piece. Uh, they just give you cash. Store credit is no different on DVDs. So it was barely worth the gas. Plus I needed um, photo ID, and I didn't have any. So that was kind of a flop. And now we just finished a quick run to my computer guy's place to uh, drop off, let's call it an exchange, that uh, full kit computer that I found before, keyboard, mouse, the tower, monitor, um, and picked and grabbed this here case that should suit my brother pretty well. Meaning he can make some money because he's got a really new fancy looking case that he wants to sell, so he could probably sell that for more money than this thing. So everybody's making money. Now, speaking of making money, we are running to the mall because I've got word there's something we need to get to real quick. 
I read, no guarantees, but fingers crossed. I came seeking a Super Nintendo. I don't have any Super Nintendo today. I haven't received any today. Oh shoot, I had it wrong. I gotta go to the other one. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, All right, fingers crossed this wasn't a big waste of time. Hi. I came in hopes of buying one of those Super Nintendos. Can help you out with that. Oh goody. Limited one per customer? Yeah. Alrighty, so $104.99 for you. Okay, I have a gift card. Okay. And you? I think it's got 40 bucks. Okay. You were correct, 3826. All right! Use that, 6673. Okay. There you go. Okay, I'm really glad that worked out. That was actually a $38 gift card that I found in the garbage. Now there's a couple more locations to bring all of this media and junk, so let's see if we can get any more money out of this before the day is done. Now our next location is another experiment I've never been to. CD Trader, Brentwood Village. I hope they're open and I hope they're in a buying mood. Okay, he told me to come back in a half an hour. We'll see what they're worth to him. I guess I should have gotten a shot of me struggling with that massive pile of CDs. That would have been cool. I need a film crew. Now we're out on another quick uh, distraction. Um, this is a Kijiji sale. Normally I prefer when people will come to me, but it doesn't sound like this guy's got a car and I really do want to sell this item. So we're going to meet him at the university. Trust me, this is worth it. It's the Canada Goose Vest. Hopefully this goes smoothly. Alrighty. That worked out great. Got one of those crisp brown notes. This has nothing to do with the reselling, getting the most money out of media. Now I had it up for 180 bucks. I probably could have held onto it for longer to, and waited to get a buyer who was willing to spend more. But if I wait any longer, everybody's already going to have their winter jackets and they're going to be good and they're going to be out of money because they're spending it all on Christmas or whatever. I'm stoked about a hundred bucks today. Besides, I didn't pay a penny for it. So anyway, it's got nothing to do with um, the actual subject. Let's get back on track. Not to mention I'm totally not allowed to park here. So let's get out of here. Now we got another quick stop. Video game trader. All right, we got 20 bucks in store credit at uh, the video game trader. I was hoping it was going to be more than 20 bucks, but it turns out that copy of Mario Kart was a little damaged, so what do you do? At least they still took it because it's worth resurfacing. Now, oh, the whole reason I took store credit is because they're having a 20% off everything sale this Friday, Black Friday, and there actually are a couple titles that I want to pick up. Otherwise, I'd say give me money. Speaking of give me money, we're back at the CD trader. So, he warned me it wouldn't be much. I'm just hoping we have different perspectives on not much. Alrighty, now how did we do? Everybody got their guesses in? My guess is close to, but not quite $20 on the CDs, maybe three or $4 for the DVDs, and uh, 15 bucks on the books, because they'll probably only take a few of them. Let's see who's closest. Okay, so the total results, the books I got $40 for, I could have had $80 store credit, and I know that might have been smarter because I probably could have bought $80 worth of books that I figured I could sell for more on eBay, and if I knew a little bit more about books specifically, then I probably would have done that. But that would have taken a fair bit more time, and then I've got to take pictures of them and list them. I'm happy with 40 bucks in my pocket because you got to realize I didn't pay anything for these but maybe your situation is different maybe you need to get the most value and if that's the case um, there are other options I am happy with how that turned out now as far as the CDs are concerned the fellow obviously knows what he's doing or he knew I was filming a video that I really wanted to get done in one day rather than have a carryover and keep filming for a second day he offered me $30 for all of the ones that he picked out which was about the right number because yeah if it was any less than thirty dollars I would have told him to stuff it and held onto them and brought them into uh, record land tomorrow but I really didn't want to load them back up I really didn't want to deal with that for a second day in a row so I countered with 35 and he said sure so 35 bucks on CDs 40 dollars on books oh I kept the um, those little uh, black zippered CD cases I feel like I could probably sell those for the $7 I spent on the CDs in the auction anyway. 
So, turned out okay there. Now the DVDs, I'm just grateful there is a place in town that'll buy DVDs. Um, he picked up five of them and he'll buy them for a buck. That's uh, buy and sell down on McLeod. You get, most of you don't live in Calgary, it doesn't matter. Anyway, there's one pawn shop that will buy them. It's not store credit, it's just cash. And if I had my ID with me, I would have that money in my pocket. So, we'll count that anyway. Um, that's, that's 80 bucks total. Now, I honestly did forget, so I don't know, but I'm pretty sure my guess was quite a bit lower than 80 bucks. Now, I did churn through a quarter tank of gas driving around all day, but that's because today was experimenting. Now I'll know for next time. There, I also tried to visit a bunch of other locations for the bookstores. Turns out I'm wrong, they only have two locations still open in town. Uh, so, there are a couple other used bookstores. Next time I have a whole load of books, I'll check them out as well. When all is said and done, though, I'd say I'm pretty satisfied with today's earnings. Especially when you combine that with all of the other little sprinklings that we managed to fit in today. They're not the point of this video, so whatever, you already saw them. Today was a, it was a good day, it was a good start to a week. Nothing wrong with that. And uh, it's definitely true. Books, CDs, DVDs, anything's worth something if you've got enough of them. Have fun, guys. I hope this was informative. Leave it better than you found it. Keep doing the thing.